Japan's industry minister has shown residents an estimate of radiation levels around the Fukushima Daiichi plant in the coming decades. Yukio Edano says some areas will remain too radioactive for locals to return even 10 years from now. Edano showed the forecast to representatives of towns near the plant. Government officials came up with their prediction of declining atmospheric radiation based on monitoring carried out last November by aircraft. They did not take into account the effect of decontamination. The estimate predicts that five years from now, radiation levels will remain more than 100 millisieverts per year in some parts of towns around Fukushima Daiichi. Levels drop after 10 years, but they remain higher than 20 millisieverts in parts of those towns and some neighboring towns. The government should be prepared to talk to residents about making a decision to give up on returning home. Hosono said government officials will consult local administrations on how to proceed with decontamination because some residents insist on returning. Experts have debunked these supposed jokes as, quote, just a bunch of words that form a sentence. Debris still lines the streets, homes flattened by a tsunami that caused one of the world's worst nuclear disasters. The city of Minami Soma is 18 kilometers from the Fukushima nuclear plant. The government says radiation levels are sufficiently low here now for people to return. But in daylight hours only, they have to be out by nightfall. 63-year-old farmer Sadamu Sunakawa sits with his wife on the balcony of their old home. He tries to be positive about their future. Only now are we being allowed to come back. All you can do is be optimistic and look for ways to go forward. But I don't think that young people will come back. Minami Soma is split into three zones according to how high the radiation levels are. There is still no electricity or running water here. A sewerage system has yet to be restored. High levels of radiation have seeped into the fields surrounding the town. Mr. Sunakawa has no idea when he will be able to farm his land again. Our livelihoods are based on agriculture and we still don't know when we can use our fields. So if you can't use the fields due to the radiation, then you can't harvest anything. That's the hardest thing now. Nuclear scientists now fear that pools of spent nuclear fuel with roughly 85 times more long-lived radioactivity than that released in the Chernobyl disaster remain exposed to the atmosphere at the Fukushima plant. There are concerns over the structural safety of the pool's containers. Outside the city of Manami Soma, police guard a checkpoint at the entrance to the redefined nuclear exclusion zone. People are returning to salvage the remnants of their lives, despite what nuclear experts say are the risks involved. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera. Japan's Agriculture Ministry says only a third of farmland ruined by last year's disaster is ready for reuse. More than 24,000 hectares of farmland in 12 prefectures suffered cracks from the earthquake or were ruined by salt from the tsunami of March 11th last year. The Agriculture Ministry says that exactly one year after the disaster, just over 8,000 hectares, or about 33%, had been cleared for cultivation. In Fukushima, only 9% of damaged farmland has been restored due to the effects of the nuclear disaster. The ministry says the removal of salt and sludge in some areas is taking time, while in others, no decision has been made on whether to repair farms at all. The ministry hopes to restore 90% of all affected farmland by the spring of 2014. It's shaping up to be a tough summer for Japanese businesses. Many are preparing for possible power cuts as the country's only operational nuclear reactor is set to go offline for a checkup next month. Leading electrical wire maker Sumitomo Electric Industries plans to install in-house power generators at four factories in western Japan by June. The company wants to maintain certain levels of output, even if its electricity supply is reduced. Housing maker Daiwa House Industry says it will introduce 1,000 lithium-ion batteries at its plants and offices across the nation. That's to store electricity late at night for use during the day. 
Leading drug maker Takeda Pharmaceutical will keep running its factory in western Japan through upcoming holidays early next month. The plan is to secure sufficient stock of its products. Meanwhile, many firms say it's difficult to devise concrete measures amid the unclear outlook for electricity demand this summer. Increasing numbers of businesses are calling on the government to provide forecasts as soon as possible. Eastern Ontario, April 21st, 2012. Okay, part two, April 21st, Eastern. It's been about five minutes or six minutes since I started. Uh, and I've been told the aluminum foil. Sorry, beta radiation. So I'm going to fold up these here. Covering our sample. And sing the dragon back on to see what happens. So what would be left would be gamma. Okay. How about we try? Or is it? Is it your own? And it's still double background. Folks. Tokyo Electric Power Company has revealed that the March 11th damaged a critical <laughs>
I want to see you. No, no, it was just a couple of fuses, Blue. Stitches coming out in a week. Listen, we've got to talk about this pimple cream. Yeah, yeah, I know he has. Forget the problems. I'll take care of the problems. They're gonna love waiting for it. It's a massacre. But I've got to warn you. At first, it might sound ridiculous. It's radical and not without its risks. But I'm certain I can pull it off.